Hi, oh my goodness. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming today. I wasn't sure if you would. What with me being all mysterious. Well, I suppose I'll just jump right into it. I was thinking, you're such a good mage. And you might even be a good enough mage to join the Crimson Demons. Mm-hmm. We are the most prestigious magical clan with the most powerful magic users. We don't generally take in members. We're just born into it. So I guess you look a bit different, but with a little bit of work, I could make you fit right in. So what do you say? You'll have access to all the best magical education and information here. Any advancement, you'll find out about straight away. You will? <sighs> Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to need to convince my elders that you would make a good new addition. Like I said, they don't usually do it. Um, I was thinking you might stand a bit more of a chance if I gave you a little hmm, makeover. Yeah. See, we all have a certain look and we're pretty serious about it. You've got to look like a proper mage, you know? Like you have some experience. Um, I'll teach you the rest as we go, but we should get the look down first, definitely. Mm-hmm. Take my hat, for instance. I made it myself. See this? It's meant to look like flames, because as you know, I love explosion magic. And then I made kind of a scary face with buttons. You like it? Maybe I could make you something similar. We could be twins. Well, I'm gonna put it down for now because it's gonna get in my way for what I need to do. I need all the light so that I can see you properly. Mm. Well, your haircut mm, could be better. You know, you want something unique like mine. Mm-hmm. Let me have a look here. Uh, I stole some of my mom's hair products. And I got these scissors. So maybe I could give you a little trim. What do you say? Come on, it's all for your magical advancement. Think of it like that. Yeah? Okay. Mm. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, maybe I'll give you kind of like a lightning fringe, you know? I'll make it kind of jagged. before. This is my first time, but uh, I'm pretty confident, you know? I tend to be good at these sorts of things, so I'm sure it'll turn out great. Trust me. fringe and then I'll give you some spikes going up here. Yeah? Okay. So, I think that bit's done. Yeah, it, it looks great. Um, 
Let me, let me just do the spikes. Okay. Okay. making one. I'm gonna make another one back here. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna set that all in place. Ready? give you that edge, you know? Give you dark eyes and people will wonder what you've seen and what you're thinking about and what you know, you know? Mm. Just a little bit. Little, 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 little bit. Okay. I won't overdo it. Under your eye a bit as well. Under. I'm just gonna flick it out a little bit. Okay. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay. And now I've got to get the other eye the same. still okay. It's okay. <sighs> You're a masterpiece and I am the artist. Mm -hmm. There's one more thing and um, I'll let you have some input, okay? Uh, I said about needing experience, and nothing shows experience like battle scars, you know? So, I think I'm gonna draw, like, a scar somewhere on your face. Yeah, no, this color is gonna be really good, you see? It's gonna be, like, a faded scar uh, to show that you've been fighting for a long time. Um, yeah, let me know, like, where do you want it? have it like, like here, you know, going up like a jagged, oh, it could be like matching your fringe, you know, like a lightning, no, uh, mm. maybe like across your nose, that could be cute, you know, that could be kind of a cute scar, or like through your eyebrow, you know, we could shave a bit of your eyebrow, you know, I always think that looks really Oh, like all the way through the eye. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Okay. <clears throat> but can I like shave your eyebrow? No. Okay, well, I guess like maybe it skipped your eyebrow, you know? It could do that. Yeah, so like, like that. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Hold still. Okay, through your eyebrow. Yeah, it's 
it's fine, I'm sure. Okay, clo close this eye. Smudge the eyeliner a little bit. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited for it to dry first. Uh, right. Then under your eye a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. How far down do you want it? Like here? No, just, just there. keep it believable. Both sides would just like look a bit silly. Right. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. You are starting to look like a crimson demon. I love it. Yeah. Now, um, something that we almost always have is just a little prop, I guess you could call it, but that, that makes it sound lame. It's like our, our mage item, our, uh, channeling vessel. Uh, you know, I had my eye patch for a while. Yeah, it had like a cross on it. It was really cool. Um, but it kind of gave me a headache, uh, so I need to find a new one. Yeah, I, I still wear it sometimes. Just, uh, I don't recommend eye patches. Yeah, they give you headaches, trust me. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a few things from where I'm trying to find a new one at the moment, so maybe uh, one of them would work for you. Yeah? Let me see. Okay, so first one, if you want a touch of mystery, and it might work well with your eye scar, like you're trying to cover it up and stuff. Um, I have this. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really like how it looked on me. It kind of, um, it makes me look a bit silly. Uh, but it might work for you. What do you think? Do you want to try it on? It, it might, it might work. Let, let me just see. Uh, mm. uh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, this, this is my little sister's, so, uh, I think it's kind of a non-starter, but, uh, it could... Mm, Well, it looks, it looks nice on you, but I don't think it's exactly the mage look you're going for. And, um, I'm gonna make you a hat soon anyway, so you don't want anything head-based, you know? Um, okay. Well, let's see what else we've got. Ooh, um. these glasses, you know? Um, uh, they kind of make you look blind, but maybe you could pretend to be blind, like, in one eye, as in your scarred eye. You know, that could be extra edgy. Um, wait, let me see. Oh. Okay, that's definitely an option, right? They actually look really cool on you. <laughs> I'm gonna put these aside just in case you want these. Uh, and another thing, um, I learned this off another guy. Uh, quite a lot of people here, they kind of like have prosthetic limbs. See? So like, you could pretend you lost your hand as well and make up a cool backstory. Um, Obviously, you don't actually have to lose your hand, it's just like a handle, but, um, you can wear it in fights, although, I guess then you kind of, like, 
lose one of your hands for shooting magic, so maybe it's not that practical, but, you know, for, for a good first impression, it might be an option. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it back for now. Right? So, now that we've got that sorted, we'll keep on looking for accessories and I'll find you an outfit. But first, you're gonna need to change your name. Yeah, choose a new name. Um, the Crimson Demons just really like drama and uniqueness and um we like having unusual names uh, to suit that so i'm megamin and there's union and you know we we want names that have never been seen before so have a little think you know is there any nonsensical name that you No. No, that's that's a bit too much. Yeah, don't tone it down a little bit. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, say, say it again, but say it with a cool phrase. Like you go like I am Mega Man. Cran our wizard of explosion magic. Something like that, you know. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Gonna go with that? Cool. That's how I will introduce you then. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I did say I had something to show you, didn't I? Okay. Hang on a minute. to you, you have to promise me you won't tell anybody what you've seen here today. Alright? I kind of, sort of, stole a tome from the School of Wizardry. Look how pretty it is. It's a tome about explosion magic. Oh, I'm gonna learn so much. Unless they catch me with it. It's not stealing. I'm just borrowing it you know, a few weeks until I get the hang of every lovely spell in here. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and have a look at it. Alright, ready? magic users in the Crimson Devil's tribe. They're like my family. I wonder if I can add myself at the end. I'm gonna take a lot of time using this. Wow. I hope I can learn their secrets and become the greatest explosion magic user of all time. You know, First things first, let's get you an appointment with the elders and have you join the Crimson Demons. Then you can help me uh, study my explosion magic. Yeah, I kind of uh, use up all of my energy when I cast explosion magic, so in return for this little favor, 
getting you into this exclusive club. Um, I'm just gonna need a little favor. Yeah. Um, you just have to come out with me before everybody else wakes up for a few nights a week, uh, and carry me back, uh, once I've used my explosion magic. How does that sound? <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Let's go, my wonderful creation. 